The price was supposed to be in the neighborhood of 210, 215. But let me tell you, the problem that is happening right now is caused by the users of petrol itself. It's caused by the motorists. It's caused by the masses. Because you just had that um, subsidy has been removed. You are not planning to buy fuel. You didn't need fuel. You carried your jerry can, carried your car, run down, run down, everybody started running down to the fuel station. You want to fuel your tank at 210 naira. Maybe because subsidy has been removed, maybe fuel will sell for 250 or thereabout. So let me fuel my tank. If you fuel your tank now, for how long will you use it? It will still finish and you will still go and buy at the new price. So why the panic buying? The result of what you are seeing is not because anybody wants to increase price. It's not because um fuel has finished from the quantity that it was it's because of panic buying so are, are you indirectly saying that oh the panic buying caused the fuel that yes. was remaining to uh, to be exhausted between no, yesterday no, no. and today the and now the the, listen, the, the price the went little up. fuel the little fuel that has been in circulation following an npc inability to pour out fuel to the to the to the people the little fuel that is remaining could be used gradually gradually and things will That's stabilize. the same thing we're saying. But so, people, so, people, everybody marched down to the filling station last exactly. night. Exactly. So you are saying now, so are you now saying now because everybody marched down to the filling station so product is finished? No, no. Between yesterday, what has when happened, that statement was what, made and What now. has happened is, I was passing one filling station last night, more than the number of people that should be, in fact, everybody saw the filling station. And at the gate of the filling station, they were even ready to pay money to the gate man to drive inside the filling station. And so what has happened is an artificial situation so, so, caused by panic buying. So would you agree that you have some filling station owners who are deliberately taking advantage of the situation to increase price? Is that what is happening? No, what is on ground now is that a filling station owner who has five trucks in the hands of an MPC since February and under his ground, he has maybe half a truck and they have announced that they are increasing the removing subsidy and people are rushing to buy and he doesn't know the price he called the depot and said we can't sell to you now we want to bring out a new price in fact that's what they told us as far back as saturday even yesterday they said they want to check the new price and we are waiting to get the new price so the man who already has maybe um half a truck or maybe even a few, few liters underground so okay now that they have told me that they are, the price might change of course i will use money to go and buy at the new price so the little quality i have I will go balance it. If I was selling 205 before, I will add 5 naira. Since they are likely to add 20 naira or thereabout, I will add 5 naira so that I can cushion the effect of going back to the market. What it doesn't, about, it doesn't about, make for panic buying. What about the product that he has already paid for from the NMPC that at is, the old price? Thank you. Is he going to now add more money before he gets the fact, product out? Thank you for that statement. That is what we are saying. That an NMPC, if, if we have to, if the masses does not have to suffer, and then PC should not attempt increasing the money because what they normally do is that now that it has been announced like this, the product you have paid, they will tell you to come and pay a new price. After you have paid them, they have used your money to trade to trade for about two months. They will tell you to come and pay a new price before you can carry that product. And even if you pay that new price, there is no guarantee of you carrying the product immediately. And if they try to do that, then the masses are going to suffer because the money that you pay, the new price you pay. We return back to the masses. But if an NPC say, even though subsidy has been uh, removed, come and carry the products you paid at the old price. We, the petroleum product retail outlet owners, I will come back to this studio and tell the masses that if you go to any filling station and they're selling social amount, social amount, call our ease of doing business. Okay. We, will, we, will challenge, we will challenge anybody who will sell against what an NPC have advised. There's a lot that we need to uh, uh, unravel in this uh, conversation. Me, what the, what, what uh, people will tell us, first of all, tell the NPC not to add money to the products that the bankers have paid since so you're saying that